Now let's create our project for our numeric text box. I'll click create new project. But the project type we want is a library. So over here I'll type Windows Forms and now Control Library. And there's few results. You can see we have a bunch of WPF user control libraries and we have some class libraries as well. But the one I want is Windows Forms Control Library for .NET Framework. So I'll select that and click Next. And just give your project the name. And in this case we are creating a custom control so you can call it that or I'm going to simply call it Numeric Text Box. And let's create a project. So you can see we don't have the Windows form as we usually do because of course we are creating a custom control. So in our Solution Explorer you can see we have a Numeric Text Box project and all we have is Properties, References and User Control 1. Now I don't really like the name of it, that's just a default name. I'm gonna right click it, rename and I'll call it Numeric Text Box. And it's asking me if I want to rename all the code associated with this name and I click yes. And now let's get to the code. I'm going to right click this control and view code. And here is our Numeric Text Box class. And you can see that it inherits from user control. Now we are trying to create a text box, so rather than inheriting from user control, which is a generic class, we can specify that we want this to be inheriting from text box, because we are creating a text box. And we can make our text box to be distinguishable from other text boxes. Let's say we'll change the back color to yellow and the fore color to blue. So in our constructor over here, we currently have initialized component but we don't really need that. So I'm going to delete that and we can set those two properties. So I'm going to set back color to equal color dot yellow and for color will be color dot blue. So that will make our text box to stand out from a regular text box. Now currently down here I have an error it says that numeric text box does not contain a definition for auto scale mode and no accessible extension method for auto scale mode is available. And that's because text box does not have that, but originally we were inheriting from user control, which is the base class, and it has all the properties, including the auto scale mode. But this is a simple fix, we'll simply remove it. So I'm going to double click the error message and it opens the window in the numeric text box designer. And here is the method that does not exist for our text box. So I'm gonna select it and simply delete it. So now when I go back to my code, everything's okay. You can see I have no more errors. Put this down a little. But now when I go back to my design, you can see the little form or whatever the object was, it's gone now. And all we have is a message that simply says that we can create a code or drag the item that we want to create from toolbox. And that's what we want. We simply want to mimic a text box so we don't want to draw our own text box. We want to use what already is in the toolbox. So let's actually see how this works for now. I'm going to build this and the build is now in our bin inside of our solution. Now those files are currently not visible so over here I'm going to click show all files and here is the bin. I'll open that in the debug folder. Here is our numeric text box dot DLL. That is our library. So now we need to add this library to the toolbox. So to do that I'm going to go to tools in the menu and over here we have choose toolbox items. So I'm going to click that let it load and we're going to add our library here. So make sure you are in .NET Framework Components and I'm going to click Browse. And I'm going to navigate to my Numeric Text Box project and go to the bin folder, debug folder 
and here is a library that we want to add. So I'll select that and click open. And here is our numeric text box that was now added to the toolbox. So make sure there is a checkbox to it, so it's added and click OK. So now let's open toolbox and now here in general we have our numeric text box. And we can actually test this numeric text box. I'm going to add a form to this project. So right click add and select new item and from the menu we want to select form and click add. So here is our form and from toolbox I'm going to drag the text box into our form and you can see it is yellow and when I type any text in it you can see that it is actually blue. Even here on the properties you can see for color is set to blue and back color is set to yellow. So we created a new text box library. Now I don't want the form so I'm going to delete it again. I'll right click to form and delete because this project is simply the DLL that we need. Alright so we created the text box but currently all we said was these two properties for the color. Now let's actually code some functionality for it.